Hey, Solus, Agent Solo, Matt Rice here with some board gaming news um, that I thought I'd show off um, for this weekend. That's come up in my feeds that um, when I look around for solo of all or co-op type games. And the one that's been buzzing around, and I'm sure a lot of people have heard of this as well that are watching this, um, is the Star Wars Mandalorian Adventures uh, board game um, created by Corey Kaniska. Um, and this is interesting. Like, I thought it would come out as maybe like an outer rim expansion, which it might still do, which Corey has worked on as well. I mean, if you don't know what Corey's worked on, he's worked on many games with FFG um, and a few others, and especially the unexpected games he's done, 3,000 Scoundrels. He also did outer rim. Destiny, he's done a lot of Star Wars stuff, Rebellion. And he worked on Forbidden Stars, which is a really popular game, um, although not solo. Space Hulk Death Angel, Gears of War, like a lot of um, highly rated um, soluble games in that list and uh, he's heading up uh, this um, version of the game yeah um, a game of daring missions for one to four players it's fantastic for us solo people um, that's their fifth release so I think they did 3000 Scoundrels I'm not sure the other releases I'm sure it's a couple others that Corey has done in this cooperative game excellent players work together to complete thrilling missions inspired by season one of the Mandalorian did they not like season two um, I guess they had enough enough to work on from season one. And he's talked about how the Mandalorian's perfect inspiration. He really captured the spirit of the show in a compelling way. Interesting. Features eight iconic characters, each with their own deck of skill cards. With different strategies, a cooperation strategy will be required to fight enemies, solve dilemmas, and complete each mission. So cooperation makes me think it's probably at least two characters, if not all four, maybe. We'll see. Uh, all of the action takes place in beautifully illustrated map book. Oh, says so get like a book like the Jaws of the Lion, Bloom Heaven style. Um, this players recreate iconic moments from season one of the hit Disney Plus series. With an intuitive system that's easy to teach, the game grows with new rules, components, and mission types added over time. It includes 220, 210 cards, 142 tokens, one mission book, eight standees, two envelopes, 499, uh, US. So I have found um, for us Australians. Um, but let's play games if it's already got for pre order uh, for $89.99 uh, for other retailers to get from them. Um, six items per case. So I assume you could buy it yourself from um, let's play games for those that are Australian. Um, it, they have an expected release date of August 2024, which is interesting. Um, order by a date of November, which I didn't know about. They must knew a bit earlier. Oh, it's a fake date. Um, anyway, there's a trailer here on the actual Unexpected Games website. Which I might show, but maybe just mute it so it doesn't <laughs> uh, screw up with my settings. And I've watched it before, it's just, it's just music over the top, so there's nothing you're missing. So I've got our usual characters, got a character card there, looks things. So it was two sided. There was an upgraded side, or maybe a wounded side. Interesting. There's our map book. It says skill cards. Okay, you've got numbers in your skill cards. You're adding two to a move here. Move up. Also, some of the cards have special abilities, works of things. Hmm. And that's the AI activation, I imagine. Yeah, so you've got tokens that move across that shoot you. Yeah, okay. Then after each mission, it looks like you're unlocked here. Yeah, interesting. And there it is all laid out there. So it's, it doesn't take up too much table space, but it looks at things too, which is good for me. Um, I've got plenty of chance to take up too much table space. Okay. So that's Mandalorian Adventures. Um, keep an eye out for that. The other bit of news I've got from WizKids is um, Tales of the Ethereum Knights is up for pre-order. And this is created by Andrew Parks, who did Dungeon Alliance um, and also Core Worlds. Um, there's an announcement on Quixotic Games, which is the, his public, uh, his um, design group. I'm um, talking about the game a bit, uh, but it's more like the theme behind it, uh, like the story behind it. And then in Tales of Three Nights, you represent one of the Knights of the Rental through three great ages from the Golden Age of Camelot to the Quest of the Holy Grail. We guide your knight through strange adventures and certain circumstances to achieve renown in romance, divinity, and villainy. You'll meet with both success and failure, and you'll learn equally from both. So kind of an RPG style, I imagine. I don't know. Um, 
yeah, cool awards is what, also what they're trying to work on here. So that's interesting. It's a pre-order for those that want to go for WizKids. And um, I'm sure you're aware that Wiz, WizKids is going on right at the moment. They've also got Mage Knight expansion. Hopefully it does justice. It says here it can be competitive or cooperative. That's so covering both. Um, there is a solo reference card in the components. So that's somewhere down here. Solo reference token. So you must be able to play it solo. Um, and the price on that one is seventy nine 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 US, which is quite up there. Hmm. Alrighty, that's all I got, guys. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably some more I should talk about, but um, those are the two that sort of piqued my interest um, during the last couple of days. Um, but I'll see you guys soon with more updates on on crowdfunding, and also hopefully I've got my big boy Heroes Three still next to me. If you haven't played, I've got Slay the Spy coming as well. So I've got to I've got to get moving on some of these games. Anyway, Solus, crush the gaming thirst. Play Solus.